In the previous video we delved into the world of muscles and electrophysiology behind them. Now it's time to shift our focus to another important muscle in our body, the heart. Join us as we explore exciting possibilities of ECG and learn how to use pi amps to monitor your heart's activity like a pro. Hi, if you're new and you don't know where you're at, welcome to the DIY Neuroscience course. I'm Alexa and today I'll be showing you how to record ECG at home using open source hardware and software from Upsidon Labs. But first, let's go over what exactly happens on heartbeats. So the heart is a muscle that pumps blood throughout the body, and in order to achieve that, it needs to contract and relax in a coordinated manner. Electrical impulses control that movement by making one side of the heart and the body slightly more negatively charged, resulting in a contraction. When the ECG is performed, which involves attaching electrodes and amplifying those small voltages, we can plot the signal over time and start to see those familiar patterns. Now let's get to the point. Let's connect our sensor, the Bion PXG pill in our case, to the Arduino. You need to use the Bion PXG pill because it's the only one that can do ECG amplification. I won't go into this part as much to not repeat myself, but I'll focus on electrode placements because there's actually two ways of recording ECG. One is to connect in plus and in minus electrodes to the insides of your forearms and the reference to the back of your palm, as always. It's a good way for some cases, but for getting cleaner and better signals, we can put them on the chest according to this diagram. Here we can notice that the reference is on a different bony part, but it's not much different than the palm. It's just important that it doesn't interfere with the heart signals. Arduino sketch used for today's experiment, called DCG filter, can be found on the Bion PXG Pills GitHub repo under the software folder. Ok, so here's how this graph, also known as electrocardiogram, looks like in a serial plotter. Doctors can use it to diagnose arrhythmias and other stuff, but what we can do is detect heartbeats or calculate pulse rate for some interesting projects. You see, a thing that an Arduino can also provide us with, in contrast to boring graphs from ECG machines, is processing the signal. These sketches do just that. They use the magic of math to detect and count the spikes or beats, which can be used in a variety of ways. I really hope you found some interesting info here and learned something new. Now it's time for you to tinker, be creative and implement ECG in your own amazing projects. I'd recommend you to like and subscribe if so, but also check other videos in this series. Here's the next episode, where you'll be able to learn more about TOG with Upside on Labs Bioamp hardware. Thanks for your time, make great stuff and have a nice day.